Well, if you tend to turn to food when you're sad or stressed, you're not alone. Doctors say emotional eating is very common, but that doesn't mean it's healthy for you. Emotional eating can cause weight gain, which in turn can put a person at risk for other health issues. There are psychological concerns as well. For example, they may experience guilt or shame after emotional eating. So what are some other ways to cope when upset? Doctors say if you can't solve whatever issue you're dealing with in that moment, consider talking with a friend instead. Other options include doing some deep breathing exercises, going to therapy, or even working out. It's also important to practice self-compassion if you do wind up eating. What benefit do we have by beating ourselves up? People say, well, if I'm not hard on myself, I'm not gonna change this. And actually the literature supports the opposite. When we're able to show ourselves a bit of grace and self-compassion, we can say, hey, although I'm not happy I did this, I look at some of the factors that maybe led to it and I can change that in the future. Dr. Creel says sleep can play a big role with our appetites too. If you're not getting good night's sleep, it could make you hungrier and lead to emotional eating. To help with that, he suggests trying to relax before bed and keeping a consistent bedtime.